Hello, and welcome to this video on the Zero HP from Mystic Circuits Low Pass Filter. Let's check out what's to come. Now these lovely little zero HP devices I've covered before, they tend to have an in and an out and a couple of CVs. Um, this one, the low pass filter, gives us an input, an output, a cutoff control and a drive control. So we can add offset voltages to open these with knobs or sliders or point envelopes and LFOs, audio in, audio out. Nice and simple. It's got a great quirky driven kind of sound, works great with feedback. Let's get into some patches. So let's check out the sound of this low pass filter. Now the device is here, input, output, and signals coming in for the cutoff and the drive. Now my input is this square wave, the green trace on data. My output will be the blue trace, which if I just turn these up full, you can see in here is the square wave. But the yellow and the pinky purple trace are showing these levels. Now the yellow shows the level of signal going into the drive and in this position you can see these squares that indicate level on data. That's zero volts up to five volts at full. Now feeding drive up full, that's the kind of normal behavior, but I'm also going to just add a little bit of value, not quite five volts, maybe a volt or two on this pink trace just to get to the edge of where the cutoff opens up. Is around there and I'm doing this because this being passive you need to send something in to kind of drive the unit so we're on the edge there and I'll turn up the cutoff slowly and there's that filtering it's quite a fine range drop the drive level to about half got this little kink in the wave let's drop it down a bit more quite different behavior So some interesting shaping and filtering. Drive up full, let's plug an envelope in instead of me offsetting the cutoff. Play around with envelope speed. Nice driven color to it. Let's play around with drive. Take this up to audio rates. Push up the speed of my envelope even further. So there we have it, let's check the sound out over some beats and then we'll get into some other patches. So here's the dry sound, the beat that I'm going to send into this and it's the Endorphins Black Noir that's just underneath here. 
give it a kick into the reverb, why not? So let's do the same again. I've got a high signal, high voltage offset going into drive. Let's sweep the voltage coming into the cutoff. So I'll just flick over to the filter. And you can hear there's some interesting wave shaping at those lower filtering levels, lower cutoffs. Let's drop the drive down to zero volt. Kind of squares up that kick quite nicely without being too aggressive. That's pretty cool. So here's the zero HP low pass controlling my synth sequence. I've got these drums compressed up, but then the synth sound is completely dry and raw. So I've got an oscillator that is being sequenced. It's also been uh, shaped from saw to square with some kind of phasey, detuny kind of sounds in between. So let me open up. And again, I'm just using offset voltages like I did at the start to demonstrate the sound to open the cutoff and the drive. Here's what's coming through. So you can hear it's already modulating. Sweeping the cutoff down. Drive. Quite a different sound. Now with drive up, let's get an envelope into cutoff. Play with drive. And I like that drive, as well as wave shaping, also lets the sound bleed through. That's going to be fun to modulate later. Let's get the drums back in. I'm just playing with envelope depth. Let's get an LFO over into drive. So let's try feeding the sound back on itself to try and create resonance. We'll see if that works. So I've had a play with feedback and we don't quite get resonance, but we do get a lot of interesting feedback driven, saturated tones. So my input is on channel C on this happy nerding three times MIA. This is the level coming in. We can see that on the green trace. Feedback will be on this bottom knob for the dual concentric pot, um, currently off. Drive is up full, cut off. And you can hear we've got a kind of sync sound. It's a square wave sync thing going on. We can see that on the incoming wave as well. Now with drive lower, you see we get some kind of almost like inverted rectification. But let's add some feedback and I'm going to turn this up full. Literally just taking the output, bringing that back into this mixer, feeding the input and feeding it back. Input is full, feedback going up. You can see it just completely clips out. Playing with the drive. Feedback down, let's try some other sounds. Big detune saw, feedback up. Let's try 
get some more sounds. Vocal tone. Feedback. Not full this time. Now full. So there's a lot of interesting tones to be had by exploring, feeding back the output back in on itself. So we've heard the unit with feedback, trying to create resonance, but we actually got some really nice driven, saturated tones. And I should say feedback around filters doesn't always create resonance, although resonance is based on feedback within a filter circuit. We've got some great driven, saturated tones. We've heard it sequenced, we've heard the raw sounds, before we do something slower and more modulated to create a drone. Now it's currently playing in the background, but here's the dry input sound. I mean there's upper harmonics but a fairly tame wavetable. Now going into the zero HP filter, I'm modulating the cutoff, the drive, and I'm going to add some feedback. Here that is completely dry. Well, through the filter, but no reverb. And it's swelling in and out with the cutoff. Let's play around. Higher modulation of drive. And let's bring some feedback in. Just start to get it cooking. A lot more life and interest to it. Had a bit of reverb. So that's it for this look at the Mystic Circuits 0HP low pass filter. There is a band pass and a high pass variant on this that got some nice quirky tones too. And there's the other 0HP modules like the low pass gate and the VCA that I've already covered which I'll link in the description below. Thanks for watching, cheers for your support. Head over to patreon.com slash divkid if you want to go that extra mile to support. If not, that's cool, cheers for watching, goodbye.